Let's create a custom luminaire symbol like this one shown here. It's a rectangle, open top and bottom, with luminous interior surfaces. To do this, we'll go to a new file in AGI32. Pull the origin up out of the corner by holding down the mouse button and dragging. We'll create two objects. Start out with a flat polygon. We'll call this three-sided. Let's make it half a foot tall. Turn on the ortho command and set the snap at a tenth of a foot. Zoom in a bit. Roll the mouse wheel. And let's make this two feet square. Two by two. Okay, drop down a tenth of a foot, and now set a break point here. See how we've set that point there? Now come back to the inner corners and set another break point on the opposite edge, a tenth of a foot in. Right click to complete. We've got a three sided polygon. Notice the break points. Back to plan view. The second object can just be a rectangular object. We'll call it final side. Tenth of a foot in, up to the top. That's all there is to it. So now we've created the necessary objects for the symbol. Zoom out. Use the Surface Edit command with the Window option to select the objects. Now use the Navigate buttons to find the interior surfaces. There's the first one. Press the F8 key to select the surface or tag the surface. Click the Navigate button again. Tag that surface. One more time, tag that one, and now navigate around to the other object, locate that surface, and press F8 one more time. With these four surfaces selected, notice we don't have the small sliver surfaces selected that were created by the breakpoints. Only four interior surfaces selected. Set the luminance to one candela. What this does is it indicates to the create symbol command that these surfaces will be luminous. Okay, we're finished there. Select the create symbol command. You can use a window, or in this case, just all surfaces. Notice on the command line it says select or enter the insertion point for the symbol. At this point, you'll want to turn the snap to command off so that you can set a point at 1, 1, x equal 1, y equal 1, right in the center of the symbol. The Create Symbol command now gives you the option to name the symbol. We'll call it Zlux Orbit Square. Leave the Model and Render symbol type selected. You could make it only a render symbol, but there's really no point in doing that because if you don't want the model mode portion of the symbol for some reason in one of your applications, just sub it out. Okay, now choose a folder to put the symbol in. You can create your own folder by just clicking the button. Here I've created a folder called Custom Symbols. You could create a folder by manufacturer name, so on and so forth. I'll show you where these folders are created in a second. And that's all there is to it. To use the symbol, in the Define Luminaire dialog, simply click in the Render Mode symbol, select the folder, there's your symbol, and away you go. Custom symbols are automatically placed in the Symbols folder 
under Program Data AGI 32. That's all there is to it. Enjoy creating custom symbols.